Hi everybody, this is attorney Andrew Flushi, and today we're going to go back to doing some Reddit reaction videos. Let's see what kind of legal advice the Redditors gave and see how we can improve upon that. Speed Trap Throwaway posts, Can I stop the county sheriff's office from using my property for a speed trap? This is going to be fun. Three months ago, I bought a parcel of land with a house on it in a rural area in Oregon along a state highway. Before I bought it, I had two separate surveys done. Long story, but they were identical, so I know exactly where my property line is. The layout is a bit difficult to describe, so I made this MS Paint drawing to show what it looks like. For the first month or so after moving onto the property, about one third of the days I got back from work, there would be a traffic stop in progress just down the road from my driveway. I thought it was weird, but I didn't make the connection until later that there was a speed trap further up the road. Also during the first month, I noticed that the driveway in the, to the upper part of my property was worn down. It's pretty overgrown because it just leads to a little clearing in the forest, no buildings or structures, and there's also a path from my house to this area. So I never use it and the previous owner didn't either, but it looked like several people had driven a little ways up the road. I didn't want random people driving up there, so I had some large rocks put in to block the entrance from the highway. They were easily big enough to see and couldn't be driven over accidentally, and were about 20 feet from the actual road. That was just before I left for about 10 days to visit some family. When I got back, the rocks were gone. I called the sheriff's office to report the theft because those rocks were kind of expensive. As a guy who brought in about 40 tons of gravel to my property last year with several different dump trucks and moved them all by hand, I can tell you rocks ain't cheap. It turns out the sheriff's office had removed them because they were, quote, encumbering the flow of traffic on the highway. This is totally untrue because they weren't even close to the road and were fully on my property. They only blocked access to the upper portion of the property. But I didn't know how to argue about it with the sheriff's office, so I decided to put new rocks in, but further up the driveway this time. I arranged for the same guys before to put the new rocks in, but when I walked to the medium, I found a sheriff's deputy parked in the driveway about 30 feet from the highway. My guess is he was trying to make sure drivers on the highway couldn't see him from up or down the road until they drove by. I asked him to leave because he was on my property, and I was about to have the driveway blocked off. He said he would leave, but I couldn't block off the driveway because the sheriff's office uses it for traffic enforcement purposes. <laughs> when the guy I hired showed up, the deputy made him leave and told me that if the driveway was blocked again, they could charge me with obstruction. I feel like that's total BS. When I called the sheriff's office to complain about them using my driveway for a speed trap and about the deputy's attitude, they also told me I wasn't allowed to block off my driveway if it's being used for law enforcement purposes. B as in BS. I put up signs, the purple dots on the paint map, at both ends of my drop property warning about a speed trap. I've also been allowed to work from home most days for the last six weeks. <laughs> so I started taking pleasant walks every two hours or so up to the back driveway to see if there were any deputies parked there. 17 times so far, there's been a deputy there and each of those times I told them they were on private property and asked them to leave. Each time they did, but they've gotten increasingly aggressive about it as time has gone on. On Monday, I told three separate deputies to leave my property. I admit I was angry on the third time. When the deputy got pissy, I told him to just F off and not come back. He got angry at that and yelled at me about, disrespecting bef about disrespect before leaving. But it seems to have peaked yesterday when I got a visit at home from the sheriff. Yes, the elected sheriff. I guess he doesn't have anything better to do than to go visit somebody about a traffic enforcement issue. He had both of the speed trap warning signs with him. And he told me if I kept disrupting their traffic enforcement and kept harassing his deputies, they would charge me. He yelled at me for a few minutes before I told him to leave. My question is basically, am I allowed to do what I'm doing? Can I put the warning signs back up and keep telling the deputies to get off my property? Am I really not allowed to block the entrance to my back driveway? Should I stop everything I'm doing before I get charged with something? I was thinking of calling a lawyer to ask, but the two lawyers in my closest town are a personal injury lawyer and a lawyer, not sure of the kind, with the same uncommon last name as the sheriff. If I should contact a lawyer, what kind should I look for? Well, sir, this is a really perplexing situation. My first instinct is that you are in the right to block off your own property. Let's just back up to the very beginning, and I'm proud of you for having two separate surveys done. Anytime you buy a property, you should have what, what we'd call a staked survey done. So you actually have the surveyor come out and leave stakes so you can see where the corners and lines of your property are. The one big thing that's missing from this analysis is where the right-of-way is. Just because you have a property line, especially along a roadway, does not mean that there's not a right-of-way and so that may be one problem with blocking off the driveway with the big rocks. Can you tell the deputies to leave your property? Absolutely yes. If this is your property, they have no business being there without your permission. And frankly, if they're still not leaving, this is a situation where you might could do what's called a no trespass order to basically order um, through the courts to have them ordered off your property. And if they keep coming back, you might could charge them with trespassing. As far as like the speed trap warning signs, that may be getting a little bit aggressive, 
a lot of places that people put like campaign signs or these little, you know, like business signs, like little yard signs, those are actually not legal a lot of times because they're within the right of way of the highway. Also, a lot of counties have sign ordinances so they can regulate who puts signs where and whatnot. So you might want to check your county's sign ordinance to see if you're allowed to put up signs, how big they can be, etc. The DOPT says, per the U.S. Attorney's Office, District of Oregon's complaints about law enforcement misconduct should be reported to the FBI office in Portland. You've been threatened with retaliation in the form of arrest for the crime of using your property. That definitely meets the definition. And this may be some wise advice. If this continues to escalate, and they're, especially if they try to charge you with something, I think that's a, not a bad idea to try to frankly talk to the FBI about it. I'm not sure it's a wise idea to go to war with your local sheriff's office unless you're not planning to live there very long. For more advice on how to deal with the police, check out my next video on police small talk. I'll see you over there. And be sure to subscribe for a new video every Tuesday. I'll see you next week.